Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is The War Train here, and in today's video, I can't wait to show you guys my newest game and pickups. I'm also going to show you guys a bunch of stuff that I winded up getting for free. Now, before we get into it guys, if you're new to the channel and you're not already subscribed, think about subscribing. And I'm also going to leave some links to some collaboration videos I did down in the description below with two different channels, one being the channel Nintendo Hub and the other one being the channel named Dean. I want to thank those guys for even asking me to be a part of the video. So if you go check out that those uh, videos, definitely let them know I sent you and I'd really appreciate it guys. Uh, with that said, let's check out these games. So the first thing I want to show you guys, I actually received from one of my co-workers. He just came up to me out of nowhere and was like, hey, are you interested in a couple consoles? Uh, somebody gave them to me and I don't know what to do with them. I was like, yeah, sure, do they work? He's like, I don't know. So he just gave me the consoles, no cords, nothing, but I did, you know, test at least one. Of, well, I tried to test them all out. Um, I was able to only, uh, you know, test one completely because the cables were different on the other two so I'll show you the first two I wasn't able to check and that is Xbox 360s now obviously he did a plate swap on them I guess because maybe it looked cool or something I don't know he has stickers on them but uh, yeah I don't know if these work because they both have different um, you know power cords that go into the back and the one I, older model I have is actually different than each one of these so I guess they had a couple different models all having a different cable which is really freaking weird now as you can see this one has a 120 gigabyte snap-in hard drive on it this other one does not um, this hard drive does work I did test it just to see so even if these two systems do not work this hard drive definitely works and actually one of these systems this one here came with a wireless um, you know Wi-Fi adapter and I actually winded up putting it or not wireless but well wireless Wi-Fi but it actually plugs and snaps into the back I did not have one of those I actually put it on one of my Xbox 360 consoles and I'm using it so that was really cool and this other one is the one that does work and this is a newer model here so that was really cool. Um, I did, you know, like I said, I tested this, it worked. And the coolest part is it had a game in there. It had Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or no, Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I was thinking it was Modern Warfare, but Black Ops 2 was in there. I just put it in a, you know, a case that I had a spare. But yeah, that was pretty cool. So, and this has a 250 gigabyte hard drive inside of it. So, you know, all things considered, I didn't pay anything. That's a pretty sweet deal. I was pretty excited about that. Now, this uh, next two things I got is from my good buddy Dan from my local games, GameStop. He actually gave me a bunch of this stuff I'm going to show you guys. Now, this was actually from a customer that came in. They tried to, you know, sell their stuff to GameStop. They weren't interested for whatever, you know, reason GameStop didn't want this stuff. And they were like, here, just keep it and give it to somebody that comes in. Uh, the first thing being a Game Boy Color game, and that is Disney's Emperor's New Groove. And the next thing being a Game Boy Advance game that also came with the manual, and this is the Lord of the Rings, the Fellowship of the Ring. So pretty awesome, you know what I mean? Just kind of, yeah, out of nowhere just got all this stuff. It was pretty, pretty cool. <laughs> Ain't gonna, ain't gonna lie, it was pretty awesome just to be like, here, you want this? Yeah, sure, even if something's garbage or whatever, I could use it for parts or give it away or, or whatever the case. Maybe it's something I don't have. And so this was actually, this next stuff is all from, you know, Dan giving it to me. This was GameStop stuff that they actually told him to throw away. And he told me about it, I was like, throw this stuff away? Oh my God, what do you got? Like, why are they throwing away games? I guess, you know, they're clearing out to make room for the new new stuff. So they were getting rid of like PS3, Wii, 360, all that kind of stuff. Things, DS that weren't selling or whatever, been sitting there a while. They kept, you know, only like the Call of Duties and Skyrim and things that they know they can sell. So I was like, he asked me if I wanted it. I was like, yeah, I'll take any of it. Um, so this first one I'm going to show you, uh, I got from a different source, but it, you know, kind of, it blends in with all this stuff. So this is New Super Mario Brothers for the DES. So pretty cool. Like I said, I got this from somewhere else for nothing. 
And this next one is Indianapolis 500. So a racing game for the DS. Let's see, next one is Pets Dogs 2. And we got Ben 10, Protector of Earth. And Monsters vs. Aliens. So these next ones are, you know, console. Well, this one, th these are all pretty much console games. This one is actually for the 3DS. And this is cool because I didn't have this game. I thought about picking it up a bunch of times. A uh, very common game. And that is Steel Diver for the 3DS. Now, this was a game that, like I said, I just didn't have for whatever reason. Um, kind of st stinks that it's not, you know, in its original box and stuff. But, hey, I mean, I paid nothing for any of the, this stuff. So, I'll take it all day long. So, we got that 3DS game. Now, this, these next couple are crap. They're for the Wii. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with them because I definitely am never going to play them. Um, this first one is Go Diego Go, a great dinosaur escape or something. <laughs> yeah, I definitely am not playing this. Um, next one, maybe, um, the Cradle of Rome. This one is actually a Jewel Master game in a broken case. <laughs> Um, and these games, these Wii ones look brand new. But the Jewel Master one, maybe, if it, I would at least check that out. I like puzzle games. Uh, this next one definitely wouldn't be playing. It does have a manual, and that is Wii Cheer. <laughs> yeah, I imagine they probably had a hard time selling this. And these next two, uh, definitely not bad. Um, pretty, out of, out of the whole group, these are the best. Um, the first one being Power Gig Rise of the Six String for the PlayStation 3. And this is a complete copy. So pretty awesome there. Now this does use all the peripherals like the Guitar Hero stuff or whatever. Uh, but nevertheless, that is really, really cool. This next one, also a complete copy. And this one actually uses the PlayStation Move and camera. And that is the Shoot. This game definitely looks interesting. Um, on the back, you can see it basically looks like you use the move controller to shoot a bunch of objects on screen. You know, kind of gives me that older arcade vibe. Um, I definitely like games like this, and this is a complete copy as well. So, yeah, happy to add these to my PS3 collection. So, yeah, that was all the stuff that I did wind up getting for free. So, I, not a bad haul for, for nothing. So now I'm going to show you guys the stuff that I did pick up. I don't think this first thing I showed, um, I, it's, I kept kind of missing it because I had it set off to the side. It's something that I picked up at the thrift store a couple months back. Now this is, you know, was only a couple dollars. So I was like, you know what? It's pretty cool. I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll take this. I mean, only for a few bucks. And that is Dance Dance Revolution. This was a Konami game, so pretty awesome. It's literally like brand new, and so is this. And this is the the obviously the Dance Dance Revolution pad. I did you know bring it home right away and scrub this thing down, even though it look like, looks like it never was used. I'm surprised that this wasn't in the this whole stuff wasn't in the big box that it originally would have came in. But for a couple dollars, I was like, yeah, I'll definitely uh, add that to the collection. So this uh, next thing I'm going to show you is actually something that I already did. I did recently get a copy of it, but I did get a second one, one that I already have like ordered. I just didn't get it when I made my last video yet. And that is a sealed copy of Metroid Dread. Um, I, another one of these, uh, you know, collector's editions or whatever, which are absolutely awesome. Um, I just love the art on these. So I actually have two of these now. One, I have them displayed side by side one facing out and then one with the the back facing out um, absolutely awesome love these boxes and now for just some other games that i did pick up this first one is one i wasn't sure about and then i actually watched a bunch of reviews on it and was like yeah that looks pretty cool it's getting reviewing good so i was like man i want to i want to play it <laughs> so i picked it up and just played through the game and I had a really good time it had a fun story and that's Guardians of the Galaxy Galaxy um, this was pretty damn fun I gotta be honest I had a good time with it 
Um, just searching through the game to exploring. You find outfits and stuff for your characters. You know, it kind of sucks because you really can't go back if you miss something. You know, but maybe in the future I'll do another playthrough because it was kind of like playing through its own movie. Um, it has its own story. Definitely different than, you know, definitely different than the movie. Um, but the story was good and it was definitely entertaining. There's some like surprises and some twists and stuff. And this is a very good looking game, especially on PS5. So yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy definitely was fun. Um, this next one I got for the Nintendo Switch from Limited Run Games, one that I ordered quite a while ago that finally showed up, and that is Double Dragon Neon. Now Double Dragon Neon was actually a game that was on the Xbox 360, probably on PS3, I'm not sure it probably was, but I know it was on Xbox 360. I wouldn't even be surprised if it's still on Games Pass. I know I had seen it, you know, not too long ago on there or whatever, but regardless, a really cool you know, uh, Double Dragon game, always liked the franchise because I grew up with it. So definitely wanted to add this guy to the collection. This next one um, was a must for me when I seen this on Limited Run site, and that was Doom the Classics Collection. I actually, you know, was tempted to get one of the bigger box versions of this, the collector's editions, but I was like, ah, at the time I was buying a lot of other stuff, so I had to kind of pull back a little, but I definitely had to at least get the standard uh, version of this because I love Doom. And this next one I had pre-ordered, it recently came out, and that is Shin Megami Tensei 5. This game looks awesome, it's been reviewing really good. And the coolest thing is when I showed up when it launched and I seen it had a steel book, I had to get, I was like, man, I'm glad I pre-ordered this. I would have had to get it regardless. Um, so absolutely awesome, you know, that this finally came out because they've been, you know, uh, advertising this game since the Nintendo Switch first came out. So it's crazy that it took almost five years for this game to finally launch. And the next thing I got was actually something that I had pre-ordered for quite a while since this thing, you know, was announced by Nintendo a while back, and that is the uh, Legend of Zelda Game & Watch. Um, you guys know I had to get this, um, had to pre-order this. Uh, I know a bunch of you guys probably are getting this as well. You know, there's tons of videos on this just showing all the cool stuff that it does. Uh, the little Triforce that glows on the back of this thing when you're, you know, playing it or whatever. It lets uh, light from the screen shine through to the back. Uh, pretty awesome. Uh, Nintendo uh, does a good job with these little things. Definitely a collector's piece. Hopefully they'll put out more of these because they're really neat. Um, and they just look cool on a shelf. But uh, had to get that. <laughs> And this last thing I also had to get, it was just definitely something that I didn't have pre-ordered, didn't know if I was going to get, but when I seen how cool it was, I just had to get it. I couldn't help myself. And that is the Nintendo Switch Lite, this uh, new Pokemon version. Let's see, Dialga and Palkia edition. These names are always so weird of these damn Pokemon. But this thing looks cool, the gunmetal look or whatever, you know, it's just looks awesome and then you have the back with uh, you know the, the Palkia and the, the Dialga person Pokemon on it or whatever just really cool basically the same design that was on the DS years back uh, for you know uh, Diamond and, and Pearl I guess it was you know because now they're coming out with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl I think next week or something it comes out I actually have a two pack of that ordered. Um, can't wait, you know, just to get that. I'm sure that'll look awesome. Setting right aside this guy right here. Um, but yeah, had to pick this up. Love my collector's edition Nintendo Switches, Switch Lights. It's just so damn difficult <laughs> when you're collect for Nintendo Switch because there's just so much stuff. Uh, it definitely hurts your wallet, I can tell you that. Uh, but that's everything that I picked up guys definitely let me know what you think about you know the stuff I got for nothing and uh, you know some of my new pickups really appreciate you stopping by but that's the video guys I'm the war train and I'm out till next time